An investigation is underway into severe air turbulence that killed a prominent Beltway attorney last Friday as she headed home to our area. It's the second time in a week that turbulence has led to injuries or in this case, a death. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey has more on the victim and of course on what happened. This private jet en route from New Hampshire to Leesburg, Virginia, making an emergency landing Friday at Bradley International Airport in Connecticut after the pilot reported a medical emergency. Requesting medical assistance on the runway. The passenger who was hurt, Dana Hyde, died from her injuries. Her husband and son also on board, along with two pilots. Hyde's LinkedIn page shows she was a consultant with the Aspen Institute after previously serving as CEO of the Millennium Challenge Corporation and working in the Obama administration in the White House Office of Management and Budget. She also served as counsel on the 9-11 Commission. The Aspen Institute releasing a statement that reads in part, Dana was a brilliant and generous colleague who worked closely with programs across the organization to build partnerships and enhance our collective work. The incident Friday that killed Hyde follows the extreme turbulence last week that forced a Lufthansa jumbo jet to make an emergency landing at Dulles. Seven people on that flight were injured and taken to the hospital. Passengers sharing pictures of food and other items scattered through the cabin. Pilots say while these recent incidents are frightening, it is unusual for passengers to be injured. In my personal experience as a pilot, it, it's, it's never happened to me. It, it, it's rare. It's generally pretty rare. Kyle McDaniel is a jet captain and operates a Northern Virginia flight school. He and other pilots acknowledge turbulence can come on suddenly, especially clear air turbulence. Clear air turbulence is not something that radar shows, so pilots are unable to uh, see it in advance. It can be quite severe and it can be quite sudden. McDaniel says both jet incidents underscore what pilots and flight attendants always instruct about seatbelt safety. It really does hammer home the point that the pilots say when they open up the ability, when they turn on the, uh, excuse me, turn off the fasten seatbelt sign. They say, when you are seated, please, you know, keep your seatbelt fastened. A statement from the National Transportation Safety Board says they are also looking into whether the private jet might have had a stability issue before it hit that extreme turbulence. They say a preliminary report is expected in two to three weeks. Reporting for News 4, I'm Julie Carey. The victim, Dana Hyde, lived in Cabin John, Maryland. Her husband and son, who were on board, were not hurt. Sean.